I think all of us are familiar with the story of Little Red Riding Hood, the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. In the Spanish language, the big bad wolf is known as the lobo feroz, which means fierce. Feroz is a children's tale by Chilean illustrator Cristina Yepes. The book is dedicated to the children of the wolves. The story begins with a mother and a son. The mother has sheltered the son for many years after their father left, protecting him from the truth of who his father was. The boy shares the, name, the same name as the father though, his name is Carlos, Carlos Feroz. However, as the boy grows, becomes a young man, his mother can protect him all the time from the truth of who his father was. The father is charged with the murder of a woman named Estela Roja, an elderly woman, Roja in thread. And he's also being investigated for the disappearance of Los Tres Cerditos, Three Little Pigs. And as the young wolf, Carlos, discovers more and reads more of all the charges, all the stories, of all the crimes his father has committed, is this the same man that held him on his shoulders, the same man who was there at his birthday parties, the same man who looked after him, the same man who cared for him and his mother, the man he loved and his father loved him and read to him stories, bedtime stories. But now his father has become somebody else. So this young man, this young wolf, his life is turned completely upside down when he learns the truth about his father. And he wishes he never had learned the truth. Now note he stares into the mirror. He is a wolf, mind you. And will he repeat the history of his own father? He decides to study everything of what happened, the history. He wants to know it all. He attends a demonstration of the disappeared. Disappeared for whom his father is responsible for. And you see there, you see him there, in the poster of the three little pigs. And there's a little girl in red there. And I think we know who she is. Now he wants to flee, he wants to run away from all this, but he knows that if he does so, in some ways he'll be just like his father, repeating history. So he visits instead the grave of the woman his father killed, Estela Beatriz Roja, the grandmother of Little Red Riding Hood. who shows up and stands next to him. What Christina Yepes has done here is, done, is taken a well-known fairy tale and put it in the backdrop and put it in the forefront of what happened in Argentina in the military coup of the late 70s 
where over 30,000 people were kidnapped by the military and the police, detained, and presumed murdered. And one of them was Hector Herman Esterheld, the creator of the Eternaut, and his four daughters, one of whom was pregnant. Their bodies were never found. It was a surprisingly moving story. I came across it when I saw a news story about a month ago in France 24, and I'll link the channel below, where the children of the perpetrators, the grandchildren of the perpetrators in Argentina, learn about who their father, their grandfathers were, what they did. Pilots who threw people into the ocean, or piloted planes that had people that were going to be thrown into the ocean and killed. Uh, men who ran the detention centers where the people were tortured and killed. Where women gave birth, the children were taken away from them and given to military families or families, family to the military, and the mothers were killed. Feroz by Christina Yepes. Thank you for your time.